highlights, of course, from last night's action. But give us an update on a few of the star wideouts dealing with injuries. This they, I mean, they're dropping like flies for the Patriots on offense. Wide receiver Josh Gordon left, and another wide receiver that wasn't playing last night, Julio Jones. What's going on? Main thing I'm watching you guys, Kay, just a second ago. I cannot believe that Chase Winovich scored a touchdown, threw the ball into the stands. What in the world is wrong with him? Chocolate bars from Grandma are nice, but so are footballs when you score a touchdown. Anyway, these are the things I wonder. As far as Josh Gordon, obviously that is someone we are going to be monitoring throughout the day. We saw him go down on that touchdown, kind of wrenched his knee a little bit. You're going to see it right here, making the extra effort. So this was a scary one, especially when your knee bends back that way. The good news for the Patriots, though, is Josh Gordon was spotted in the second half, riding the bike. That indicates, one, he had a chance to come back. He ultimately did not, but he had a chance. And two, that it is not a major injury for Josh Gordon. Just one catch for seven yards last night. But obviously, so much more is ahead of him. We're going to be monitoring that one. And then as far as Julio Jones goes, he did not practice on Wednesday. He had a hip injury. This was a little bit of cause for concern. Kind of came out of nowhere a little bit. The good news for Julio Jones was he was upgraded to a limited participant in the Falcons practice on Thursday. That is an indication he is good to go. From what I am told now, this is not a major injury. So Julio Jones and this Falcons who need to win so badly against the Cardinals, he should be good to go. Appreciate the update, Ian Rappaport. We'll have you on throughout the show. We, of course, on Fridays get you set for all the action set on Sunday with an early game in London and two AFC powerhouses. Thanks, Ian. We'll talk to you in a bit. They're facing off on Sunday. It is the game everyone wants to see, the Chiefs and the Texans. Are we going to see? Touchdowns. They also passed Peyton Manning for second on the all-time passing yards list. Just a Thursday night for 12. 35-14. Uh, the Patriots defense was incredible. The offense will get into it. But here are a few of the stars. They're calling themselves the Boogeymen. It is Chase Winovich, the Rook, and the aforementioned Kyle Van Noy of this incredible Patriots defense after a 21-point win. You know, shout out to my teammates for uh, setting up the block punt and uh, blocking for me and, and helping me finish the play. Was Talk about the start touchdown. Back in high school, so yeah, it's been a while. Devin, Jason, all of them, all of them boys back there play their hearts out for each other and you know if you watch the film they enjoy playing football and I just I'm I'm blessed to be a part of that. <laughs> Winovich's grandma probably gave him that money that five dollars after this game. Yeah. Patriots defense officially number one straight down the line. Check this out leading the league in sacks and picks and points per game and more and of course rookies remaining 0-12 against Brady and Belichick in Foxborough. Patriots Starting off 6-0 and for just the fourth time in franchise history. The defense is no joke. Are they going to make all offenses look like Daniel Jones and the Giants? I, I got to talk about those linebackers, mm -hmm. okay? Because yesterday I came on the no, show and they... I, you know, talked about how Mike Girardi reported earlier in the year and that Jamie Collins said, we need a nickname for our linebacker group. Let's go with the Boogeyman. And then Kyle Van Noy is asking fans to submit T-shirt ideas. And I said, break... Slow down. In fact, let's just show what I said yesterday on the show. Mm. Looking like an idiot now, 24 hours later. <laughs> Strike some fear into the guys they're calling the boogeymen. I don't know if you guys know about this. Mm. The linebacker group in New England has given themselves a nickname, Jamie Collins and Kyle Van Noy, the boogeymen. We're five weeks into the season. That's beaten, what they came up with. They've beaten the Dolphins and the Redskins. This is very, very <laughs> premature to me. They're a nice linebacker core. Are they the monsters they're of the nice. midway? I'm not sure. Patriots giving themselves nicknames. Are we sure Bill Belichick's still in charge over that? What is going on with this? <laughs> okay. They're the boogeyman. That's it. They're the boogeyman. They're the boogeyman. They were amazing last night. I mean, it goes right down the list. We had John Simon here make the first big play. And, and then it's Van Noy. Then it's Winovich on the punt return. This linebacker core is everywhere. We know about the defensive backfield. The boys up front were playing. This defense, I, it's not their fault they're playing the Redskins, the Giants, and the Dolphins. True. It might be one of the best we've ever seen because the offense will get to them. The boogeymen are here, and I apologize to Kyle Van Noy. I said that very flippantly yesterday. Yeah. You guys are the boogeymen, and that's what I will refer to you moving forward. So what do you say to those people who say you played the Steelers, they always are not great in Foxborough. You've played the Jets, you've taken on the Giants, you've taken on Josh Allen, who was throwing deep and throwing picks until he got hurt and Barkley came in. The competition level, even, even though you can't help who you play, hasn't been great maybe to crown them as the best defense. I think what it is is you say, well, who have you beaten? And their response is, 
everyone. Yeah. Yeah. We've beaten them down. Like, it's such a dominant performance mm -hmm. that I can't hold who they're playing against them. Yes, do I want to see Mahomes versus this defense? Sure. Oh, it's well, coming. I don't believe it. It's coming. Yeah. But for now, the boogeyman and that defense. It was one of out. those boogie nights, wasn't it? Yeah, it, was, it really was. Lock and load, Jack. Line. And here's the thing I have another answer to that question who are they beating? Who cares? Yeah. Just look at the numbers. Look at the stats and strikes. What is the boogeyman? The boogeyman is a mythical creature that scares children. And last night, Daniel Jones looked like a child because he is. He's a rookie. And yesterday on the show, I said, you know what? He's going to have turnovers. You're going to have to try to limit him. But because this defense is so good, it looks like you'll be out there looking like a rookie. And Shregs, you talked after me and you said, Nate, that's a loser's mentality. Mm. Limit your turnovers. What are you talking about? This is what I'm talking about, Shregs. Because this defensive line, those linebackers, and those DBs, they get after quarterbacks and put them in position where it seems like there's 15 dudes on the field. And last night, once again, the Patriots proved why rookies can't win in Foxborough. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It's not just rookies. This season, even some of the best quarterbacks like Josh Allen, who had all the hype, look like a novice QB just throwing balls in the air. This defense is working together, and Kyle Van, Van Oy said it best. They're having fun, and they're enjoying every level of it. Defensive line, linebackers, and DBs. They do, this could be one of the they best They allow a 65-yard uh, passing touchdown finally to Golden yeah. Tate. They don't have Saquon out there. They don't even have Saquon's backup. They don't have Evan Ingram or Sterling Shepard. I don't know. So, so what is this defense? What is it? Are they better than the 2000 Ravens? Are they better than the 85 Bears? What define them? What they well, do? We have to find out. Night? We have to wait till they're the season. So, they're done, them so what you're saying is they're, they're just the best in the league right now. They're on pace for greatness. That's they, what they are. And a big part of it is, is making me giggle over here because, listen, here's the deal. Yeah. <laughs> if we're going to talk about the boogeyman, we've got to talk about the pool boy, too. Now, um, if, if we're going to categorize them in the all-time defense, you've got to know the other guy. The 85 Bears, everybody knows Dent and Singletary. You've got to know Gary Fensick. You've got to know Otis Wilson. <laughs> 2,000 Ravens, it's not just Ray. It's Jamie Sharper. It's Kim Herring. There's a lot of guys. The Patriots have those guys, too. Um, there was a huge play last night. It was a blocked punt early. It wasn't in the highlight. It really started things off. It was a special teams touchdown. You're going to see the punt goes up, and it lands in the arms of a sort of like Clay Matthews stunt double looking rookie <laughs> named Chase Winovich. All right, Chase Winovich has had a great start to the season as a rookie out of the third round from Michigan. Um, guys, I want everyone at home, if you did not see this in the offseason, how dare you, but this is the guy that we're dealing with. Chase Winovich comes on the show before the draft in which he has everything to prove about his personality and his professionalism, and he brought a friend with him. Uh, his mom, his agent, a friend, no, no, no. He brought a very, very special friend. This is the person who just is terrorizing the AFC right now on this show just this offseason. Take it away, Chase and friend. Who is that next to you? Great to be back. And this is actually my dear friend and pool boy, Giovanni. Honestly, he's been in the uh, the shadow. He's just been uh, working his whole life as our pool boy. And I figured it was about time, you know, I share some of that spotlight and recognition uh, with, with those closest to me. And Giovanni, as like I said, as a family friend, um, you know, he's, he's on. <laughs> he's getting his moment of fame. All right. Yeah, Giovanni's a friend of yours. He's a friend of ours. A thousand percent. I mean, he just covers all the things in a friend that you look for. He has my back. You know, some people, they don't have your back. They'll stab you right in the back. Not Giovanni, though. So lucky to have a friend like that. <laughs> well, so we're sitting here and we loved him. Loved him. At some point, Bill Belichick and Ernie Adams and Gerard Mayo and maybe Mr. Kraft were watching that and be like, get that guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's who we want to bring into this dynasty. And what an amazing pick. The guy's terrorizing. So, guys, if you're watching the Patriots all year, remember him. Remember Giovanni. Remember the pool boy. It's all, that's part of the greatest defense of all time right there. Can you imagine that? Take Giovanni and bring him to Canton. That's it. Yeah. What, a, what a time to be alive. Four sacks, four tackles for a loss. Giovanni? No. Oh, Chase. Okay. It's his first touchdown since high school. He loved that his grandma gives him $5 and a chocolate bar after every game that he plays hard. I'm sure he's got that in the mail after this one. Another brilliant performance by this defense. The Boogeyman are playing at an all-time high. But let's bring in Ian Rappaport right now. He's coming to us from New York. Ian, welcome to the show.